Welcome to Zoo Berlin, Germany's oldest and most frequently visited zoo. Everywhere you look in Zoo Berlin, you will always come across some beautiful architecture, and that's why I love visiting. Zoo Berlin boasts vintage architecture, and it is home to a huge variety of rare species, with the most obvious one being the giant panda. Zoo Berlin is currently home to four giant pandas, and they are currently housed in a large complex, which includes two large outdoor spaces that have been designed well. The pandas can also be viewed in their on-show indoor areas. A big highlight of Zoo Berlin is its new predator house, named Empire of Cats. This exhibit opened on the 25th of February in 2022, and it is home to a large amount of predator species, which are mainly cats. The exhibit offers wide views of some of the indoor spaces for the animals, which have been beautifully designed. As well as this, you can view all of the many outdoor spaces for the animals too. Some of the species that can be found in Empire of Cats are Persian leopards, jaguars, African lions, sand cats, margays, dwarf mongooses and rhinoceros iguanas. Empire of Cats also features a nocturnal exhibit where you can see many species in the dark, including aardvarks and rusty spotted cats. Being a cat lover myself, Empire of Cats is my favourite part of the zoo, but Zoo Berlin has even more to offer. The zoo boasts an absolutely stunning antelope house. Inside you can see the indoor spaces for many antelope species, including Gerenooks and Lechways. Also inside of this house is the indoor area for the zoo's Rothschild giraffes. The design of this house is great and it is one of the prettiest buildings in the zoo. Zoo Berlin's primate house is highly complex and it is home to a large amount of monkeys and apes, including all four of the great apes. Connected to Zoo Berlin is Aquarium Berlin, which is a multi-floored building housing many fish, reptiles, amphibians, and insects. One of the highlights of the building is the critically endangered Indian gharial. These crocodilians are fascinating, and unfortunately, they aren't found in many zoos today. Other highlights of Zoo Berlin include Hippo Bay, a large and modern complex for two hippo species. World of Birds, a fascinating house split into sections displaying many bird species from all over the world. And the Penguin House, a cooled indoor space with a rocky land area and a deep pool that is home to multiple species of penguins. Zoo Berlin is constantly upgrading and the zoo's current project, which is opening soon, is a brand new Indian rhinoceros exhibit that will also feature tapirs and warty pigs. The exhibit is nearing completion and the zoo aims to open it by June 24th this year. 
It is good that the zoo is upgrading, as it still does have a few enclosures that aren't great, including the Asian elephant enclosure, orangutan enclosure, and a Siamang enclosure. So to conclude, Zoo Berlin is an expansive and vintage zoo, having some incredible species in unique and mostly high quality enclosures. Thank you for watching.